we have a ton of breaking news on today's show and i was actually just about to push out this video and i got i got the tweet that i hadn't been wanting for the past couple of weeks jalen petrie season ending surgery i mean he was having a resurgent year he was having an amazing season for the Houston Texans. He was bringing the boom each and every single week, and now the Texans will be without Jalen Peachy for the remainder of the 2024 NFL season. I mean, I'm just at a loss for words. The Texans were holding out hope that Petrie wouldn't need to have surgery this year and would be able to come back maybe in week 18 or maybe for the playoffs, but that doesn't seem to be the case. They gave it a couple weeks. They went and to see if maybe he could play through it. Doesn't seem like he can. So Jalen Petrie will be out for the remainder of this season. Jimmy Ward will slot in there as that, you know, box nickel safety role for this team. Hopefully Petrie will be able to bounce back next year because he was having an amazing season. But we'll break down some more injuries in today's show. But awful news for the Texans going into this Week 15 matchup up against the Dolphins. Jalen Petrie out for the rest of the season, and we have some injury news coming up on Juice Scruggs. Breaking news here on Texans today, and it is not good news for your Houston Texans. Juice Scruggs, the starting left guard for this team, out this Sunday, reported first by Aaron Wilson. He will be out for the next two to three weeks with a foot injury. Not good news for this Texans offensive line. And we've already seen a ton of injuries along this front. Could this mean trouble this weekend and moving forward? Because remember, the Texans, they play the Miami Dolphins this weekend. Then they have the Chiefs. Then they have the Ravens on Christmas. But the big question is, who will start at left guard this week? for the Houston Texans. Now, whenever there's breaking news around this team, you know I got you covered. That's why you got to subscribe for the latest Texan news and rumors all year long. We're actually 15 subscribers away from 22,000. So if you haven't already, if you love the Houston Texans, if you want daily updates around your squad, hit that subscribe button, 100% free Texans videos all year long. Now, Juice Grugs, he wasn't a world beater he wasn't an amazing guard. He wasn't, you know, this amazing guy who the Texans are missing out on. You know, obviously you see the PFF grades up on the screen. A pretty average guy, if you ask me, around 63.3, 64.8, 63.6, respectively, in his PFF grades for overall pass block and run block. Five sacks allowed on the season. This isn't going to be a guy who I'm like, oh, the Texans, they're going to miss a pro bowler. But with the Offensive line already being pretty thin. And the Texans, you know, finally getting a little bit of a pass protection for C.J. Stroud over the past couple weeks before their bye. This will throw a wrench into things. And it does make me wonder. The Texans are coming off of a bye week. How did this injury come about? Was it through practice? Is it a lingering issue, uh, issue that he's been dealing with? I'm not sure. But all I know is the Texans' offensive line will once again get a change going into the next couple of weeks. Now, D'Amico Ryans talked this past, uh, or earlier today, about possibly Kenyon Green, possibly Kendrick Green showing up. So I'm going to ask you, with Juice Scruggs injured this week up against the Miami Dolphins, who should start for the Texans? Should it be Kenyon Green type KG1, or should it be Kendrick Green type KG2? If you get hit with the YouTube ad break, perfect timing. Scroll on down and let me know your answer. I can't in good conscience start Kenyon Green right now. I just can't. He was god-awful before he got injured up against the New York Jets. And his pass protection, I mean, I can't do that to C.J. Stroud. I can't put C.J. Stroud in harm's way by starting Kenyon Green. So I'd much rather either start Kendrick Green or, according to multiple reports, the Texans were also trying out Zach Thomas at that left guard spot. So if it was up to me, I, I don't think I can put in Kenyon Green, especially him not playing well and coming off injury. Remember, he hasn't played since that Thursday night Halloween game up against the New York Jets. So if it's up to me, I'm going to go ahead and insert Kendrick Green. He's played three games, one sack allowed this season, and he's somebody who the Texans, they got last season, from, uh, formerly of the Pittsburgh Steelers, plays center, can play guard as well. But 
I think I trust him a little bit more than Kenyon Green moving forward. Now, is Kendrick Green going to come in and be an amazing guy, be you know an amazing left guard for you? No, but I think he's serviceable. And that's more than what I can say for Kenyon Green because he has been a liability, to say the least, in pass protection. I think Kendrick Green gives you a little bit more on that front, even though Kenyon Green might be a little bit better of a run blocker. Now, I broke down the news around Juice Gruggs, but the bad news could get a little worse for the Houston Texans. So get ready for this because if you thought that was bad, that Juice Gruggs is going to be out, it might be a little worse because the Dolphins – they're getting a key guy back on the defensive side. I'll tell you who that guy is in just a moment, but I couldn't do today's show if it wasn't for our amazing sponsors over at Prize Picks, America's number one daily fantasy sports app out there. Go check them out today. The best place to get real money action while watching your favorite sports. You can now win up to 200 times your money on Prize Picks and make your holidays just a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter over on Prize Picks. It's the best way to win real money money this football season which players are going off which ones aren't make your picks in less than 60 seconds and turn your sports opinions into real money all season long and i'm not just talking about football basketball mma hockey they got it all over on prize picks and my lineup for the texans dolphins game this weekend well i made this before the injury news so don't judge me too much i did the more on joe mixon rushing yards i know i know this was before the juice grugs news came out. Nico Collins, I went the more on his passing yards. Devon Achan, I went more on his receiving yards. He's a running back, but he's more of a running back slash slot receiver for the Dolphins offense. So I'm going to go the more on his receiving yards. And then Tua Tungavailoa, give me the less on his passing yards. I think the Texans D-line could get after him this week. Join now because the holiday season Prize Picks is giving away two free picks in December, and they're giving away $30 plus million dollars in rewards during Xmas. So download the Prize Picks app today. Use code CLNS and get fifty dollars instantly when you play five dollars. That's code CLNS on Prize Picks to get fifty dollars instantly when you play five dollars. You don't even need to win to receive the fifty dollar bonus. It's guaranteed. So get started today with Prize Picks. Run your game. I told you the bad news could get a little worse, and it very well could be because the Dolphins are getting a key player back on the defensive side of the football in Bradley Chubb. He hasn't played at all this season. He had a serious knee injury in week 17 of last year, but practiced for the first time, actually today, for the Miami Dolphins. And Mike McDaniel was elated when talking about Chubb returning to the team. This coming in from ESPN reporter Marcel Lewis Jock for Miami. He said Dolphins linebacker Bradley Chubb practiced yet again today as he potentially nears a return. This was his first you know, padded practice has gotten some work, has slowly been rehabilitating, and now it looks like he could make his season debut up against the Houston Texans on Sunday. And if you're wondering, what kind of guy is Bradley? I mean, is he that big of a deal? Well, in 16 games last season for the Miami, he had 73 tackles, 11 tackles for loss, 11 sacks, 22 quarterback hits, two pass breaks. So, yeah, he's pretty good. And along with their rookie, Chop Robinson, this could spell some trouble for Houston come Sunday, especially with their offensive line already missing some key pieces. So I'm going to ask you folks at home once again, how worried are you about the O-line against the Miami Dolphins this weekend? Scale it on a scale of 1 to 100. 1, you're not worried at all. Jeremy, you got to chill out. Take a chill pill. 100, you are slamming the panic meter. Let me know down in the comments section where you're at with this Texans offensive line. My panic meter is at about an 80 right now. I'm worried with the protection for C.J. Stroud moving forward. Like I said, that Jets game, prior to that in the season, it was a huge problem protecting C.J. Stroud. And right before the bye week, the Texans actually had their best week in pass protection up against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And now that you're taking out Juice Grugs and you're going to insert somebody else into the lineup, how will they hold up? Will that communication still be there? Because... The Texans' biggest problem at the beginning of the season was IDing blitzers and communicating along the offensive line. That happens with continuity and guys working together for long periods of time. You're mixing that up again. You're adding a new guy into the fold. So will that communication be there? Will they be able to ID blitzers? Will they be able to ID stunts along this defensive line? Because we talked about Bradley Chubb, but the 
Dolphins have another guy, another edge rusher, and Chop Robinson, who I know it says, only says three and a half sacks, but over the last four weeks, Chop Robinson is top five in the NFL in getting pressures. He is a very good defensive end, so that could spell some worries for the Texans, especially if they're going to run some stunts, if they're going to have Chop Robinson or Bradley Chubb, you know, stunt inside up against our guards. That could spell some trouble for this Texans team. And it's going to really rely on the shoulders of our QB1, C.J. Stroud. He is going to have to be on point this Sunday to make up for the lost talent along this Texans offensive line. He's going to have to do the extra work, ID the blitzers, make sure the hot routes are good, and make sure this offense is prepared for the Dolphins each and every play on Sunday. Because with guys missing, with guys being out, that means more of the load, more of the worry goes on this guy right here. He's going to have to step up, be that leader along the offensive side of the football, and make sure the Texans are ready, are prepared, and have everything in set to be successful this Sunday up against the Miami Dolphins. And a reminder, I'll be live for this game an hour before kickoff, 1 p.m. Eastern time. We will be going live one hour before kickoff here on Texans today, so don't miss a thing. We're going to have some giveaways, prizes as usual, rooting on our Houston Texans. So make sure you hit that sub button. Like I said, we're almost to 22,000 subscribers, so don't miss out on all the action all throughout the year. Hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications to get daily Texans videos.